Thank you very much, Chair. Um, I'd like to uh, thank people for profit for bringing forward this bill. I have to say it's um, uh, something that uh, has been brought to my attention by uh, um, uh, in this youth group when I, I met them in uh, Boswell's across the road here. And um, you know, it was I suppose it was a time when people who were under eighteen. Um, uh, sort of worked for pocket money. Mm -hmm. It was very much brought to my attention that people under 18 are now working to try to um, save money to pay for accommodation if and when they, they go to college. The monetary pressures on people under 18 are much greater now than they were. I suppose the monetary pressures on families generally. I mean, those who are just working to try to save money to go to college are, are perhaps the lucky ones. I mean, there are many who are working to try to contribute to their families because of the cost of living increases, uh, in particular, uh, I suppose, around the cost of accommodation that families are enduring. Um, some families are, are lucky enough to uh, own a family home at a, at a mortgage rate that is set and affordable, um, or uh, be in um, uh, perhaps local authority accommodation, which is affordable, but there are very many, many others for whom accommodation uh, is a pressure for the entire family. Uh, and in a way, I think, uh, while I wouldn't necessarily share, um, and I suppose it might come as a great comfort to, to the deputies over there for me to say that I wouldn't necessarily share their ideology. I, I, in many respects, I, I would share their concern that as a society we're regressing and we're going very much back to where we were a hundred years ago when uh, you had everybody in a family out working to try to sustain the family, to try to keep a roof over the family's head, and I think that's very worrying and I think is a manifestation of the failure of government, not just this government, uh, and it would be unfair to blame this government, but successive governments now to deal with the accommodation crisis and the housing crisis and we are really regressing as a society in a variety of ways. It's having impacts on many, many sectors that, that couldn't be uh, foreseen and it's driving hostilities in communities uh, around um, resources, um, around immigration, it's having a huge impact. Um, and uh, uh, But to go back to, to, to the grouping that I met, I mean, they, I suppose, they didn't say that they were the lucky ones, but they were the ones who spoke about having to, to work to pay for accommodation and that would, in a way, put, make them quite lucky. So. Um, we do need to work uh, to look at the idea that, uh, because I'm a farmer and I have uh, occasionally um, hired ca casual labour, it's often, more often than not, it's, it's young men. Um, they probably do more work than I do and are prepared to do more work than I do or indeed than, than maybe the minister might be capable of or, or indeed anybody in those, uh, the, the, the opposition benches. And I mean, I've always felt that they should be fairly paid f for that, notwithstanding their age. Um, uh, so I suppose we do, I think, need to examine this. And I mean, I think allowing the matter to go to committee stage uh, wouldn't preempt the 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 the, uh, the low pay commission and, and its work. I mean, the low pay commission reports on an annual basis, on, albeit on on different issues. I accept that. But I mean, there's no reason that the two couldn't uh, operate in tandem. And indeed, uh, has any effort been made by the government to get the, the, the Low Pay Commission to bring forward their report? Or is it possible for them to bring forward their report? Because it is an issue that deserves to be looked at. Um, and I think the place to do that, if we are a, a, a parliamentary democracy, which we are, is in committee. And I mean, this is an issue which I think could be very usefully uh, teased out at committee. So uh, I very much welcome the um, the, uh, the legislation which has been brought forward. I do think that it's important that this doll be afforded an opportunity to look at the committee stage and on that basis uh, I will be supporting it and I thank the Chair for um, the leeway afforded me to speak on this matter.